what is going on everybody welcome back to phones and drones so unsurprisingly apple has stuck to their recent release schedule alternating beta builds for ios 18 and 18.1 so again right on cue apple has dropped beta 5 for ios 18 and surprisingly there's actually a little bit of new here aside from just interface changes ui tweaks all that aside safari has a neat little trick up its bag and I am very excited for this actually. It actually might make us want to use Safari again. Traditionally, we use Chrome just for obvious reasons. Everything else syncs to it and it's cross-platform a little easier. But aside from that, let's do our typical song and dance, see where we are on the release cycle for iOS 18 since, well, we're only about a month away from new iPhones, which means iOS 18 on board. Let's jump right into it. Okay iOS 18 beta 5 just finished installing on our iPhone 15 Pro and jumping right into this let's do our typical heat check and see exactly how this is doing and unsurprisingly again as with the other iOS 18 betas this one is still running in pretty warm territory like we've always said if you're new to the channel hopefully the new iPhone 16 series that's coming out will have improved copper around the Apple logo to help with heat disbursement on future upgrades. But in this scenario here, still having some issues, um, unsurprisingly. So moving on beyond that, iOS 18 beta 5 did come in with about a seven gig update for our iPhone 15 Pro for the first time jumping on the iOS 18 betas. If you are going to be coming from another beta, you won't have a massive build that size. It'll be more around 2.3 gigabytes. Let's look at the build number here and we're getting closer to the beginning of the alphabet, which is a great sign. As you can see, this carries a build of 22A5326F. So I bring up the F at the end here, usually in all our bit videos, but if you're new to the channel or new to Apple betas, the closer that letter gets to the beginning of the alphabet, the closer this will be to a golden master or a release candidate or basically the public release build if you want to think of it that way. That way we know this is on the right track and getting to its proper you know, end destination and that's released to all users. So again, still an F build, still have a couple more betas to go. But again, since we are turning around a tighter timeline now with about 30 days or so to go, possibly about 45, this needs to be cleaned up and maybe this is turning a corner here on this build. One other thing I do like to look at too, and again, if you follow the channel, you know, this is not our daily driver, our 15 Pro Max is that's running 18.1, but I do like to show the battery health here. And you can see this is still at 100%. This has never ran betas before until today. Yes, it has a pretty low cycle count still, it's only at 82, keep that in mind as well. But again, iOS 18 betas have wreaked havoc on our battery life on our 15 Pro Max. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about signing up for the beta. Aside from that, surprisingly, um, there's actually something new here and that comes with the new Safari build. So what it has now, it actually has a new feature that is called hide distraction. It can hide ads and other elements if you so wish. So in order to do that, you're going to need to actually click on your little logo down there and you can see a new option that says hide distracting items. And when you do that, it says hide distracting items will not permanently remove ads and other content that update frequently. So if you say okay, and you wanna click an item, you can see how it automatically gives you an option to hide it. And look at this new effect. It literally looks like something out of Avengers Endgame with that Thanos snap, if you're familiar with it, and it got rid of it live time, just like that. I'm gonna cancel this and bring it all back, but if you have a website that you go to all the time with ads, let's go to The Verge and see if we can pull up something here. Um, there should be an ad popping up here. So here's a perfect example. If we go ahead and go here and hit hide distracting items, it automatically recognizes that widget on the website, hide, and now it has pushed up everything you needed and you're good to go. It is very, very neat and very handy. And to be honest with you, if you go to a lot of web pages that tend to have elements like this, uh, this will be great to have. This might cause me to go back to Safari a little more and use it more than I have in the past. But that is the craziest, biggest new feature here. It is surprising simply because even on 18.1, this is not yet present. 
As far as releases go too, I do want to talk about this really quick. Obviously, we have been alternating release weeks, like we said in the opening here. So on the 12th, we should receive iOS 18.1 beta 2. And then the 19th, we, we should receive iOS 18 beta 6. But what is happening now, come September, we are looking at the actual release of iPhone 16 series devices and iOS 18. So I would say around the middle of the month, possibly maybe around the 27th or 20th is probably when the new release will actually occur and everything would have to be finished. So you can see where the timeline is tightening up for Apple and allegedly Apple is still looking to not delay iPhone 16 releases since iOS 18 is behind the ball. Um, but either way, nothing crazy there. I did just want to bring that out to your attention and kind of give you an idea of what to look for. As you can see too here in the Photos app, it is a little bit different. There is no more carousel view here. Thanks to user feedback, it kind of was too confusing. And you can see right here, matching up iOS 18.1 to iOS 18 beta 5, you no longer have this option to scroll through this carousel. It is completely gone and you simply just have all of your regular icons like you did in the past. So again, a small tweak, but one I wanted you guys to be aware of nonetheless. Aside from that, we have a small tweak in the actual control center here for just some animations. You can kind of see the airplane taking off and all of that um, on the battery indicator too. If you had a, you know, any of that active, a couple of these statuses and UI interface items have changed slightly. Not a big deal, nothing crazy by any means, but it is just one other small change here. Aside from that, nothing else has been found yet. We're still gonna do some deeper diving. I'm very curious to see how this battery life is going to hold up now on basically 100% iPhone on iOS 18 now, running iOS 18 beta 5, uh, and to see if we're going to be able to actually get a good grasp on if iOS 18 is truly killing the battery more so, or if it's just that this device is almost a year old. So very curious to check that out as well. More so again, back to these delivery dates. I would assume the next beta for iOS 18, if you're on that, to be the 19th of this month followed by the second, and we actually might get one in between here if they end up going on the same cycle and they go back to one week releases, which is again, very possible. But again, if you guys are on 18.1, again, we should have that next beta for beta two of iOS 18.1 on the 12th. So not too long. I will say iOS 18.1 has been very solid on our 15 Pro Max. Definitely happy about that. Really have no concerns. Even battery life, it has been very stable. To see iOS 18 already release and having some new features, it gives me hope that this should be ready in time and we should be good to go here shortly with the release. Let us know in the comments down below, which one of these betas are you running and have you had any other new issues? Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.